Hello, uh, this is probably one of the strangest videos I've ever made. I haven't actually made it yet, but I see into the future. This, uh, but I, I found a strange bug issue in P5.js, and I just don't know what to do about it at all. So I'm kind of filing a GitHub video issue. I will type an actual GitHub issue, but this might be useful for some of you wondering about open source, how it works, where things are, and there's probably a lot of stuff I'm gonna gloss over here, but maybe you'll find this useful to watch, maybe you won't. But let me give you some background here. I was making a simple P5.js sketch. I'm um, going to, I'm doing this in Sublime with the Chrome browser. All this sketch is doing is creating a video element, and what I wanted to do was look at the pixels of this video. But the video by default, the video by default is three, well, well, you'll see in a second, is if I rerun this, it's coming in from my web camera at 640 by 480. But I want to shrink it down and I want those pixels to be shrunk down. So I call the p5size function. And once I call the p5size function, it shrinks the video and the pixels should also shrink. So let me show you what I mean. In the Chrome console here, I can say video.loadPixels. This is a function that would then make the pixels available of that video. Now, so I've loaded the pixels. Now, if I were to look at the pixel array where all the pixels are, you'd think I would have a, an array that has this many spots in it. For every single color, there are four spots in the array. Red, green, blue, alpha. The width of the video image now is 320. The height is 240. So the total number of pixels should be 320 times 240 times four which is this particular number, 307,200. However, if I say video.pixels.length, I get this weird number. Well, that's not what should have happened. Hold on a second here. Everybody just relax. <laughs> and by everybody, I mean me. Um, I think I might have uh, messed something up. So uh, I just need to very quickly make sure I'm using the actual, um, oh, this video is ruined. Uh, skip ahead, skip ahead, skip ahead. Um, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make sure I'm getting the uh, most recent, I, I was futzing with the DOM library and uh, I probably m made it do something it shouldn't have done. So I'm going to go and paste this in there. Then I am going to uh, refresh this. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Video.pixels.length. You can see that's of course zero because I haven't called load pixels yet. Once I do that, yes, okay. So <laughs> I had already futzed with the DOM library in trying to debug this, but now I'm using the actual current state of the DOM library. Look at that particular number, right? Remember, we said it should be 320 times 240 times four, which is that number. What is that number? That number is 640 by 480 times four, because even though I've resized the video, the pixels are still at the original resolution, which is not what I want the P5 library to do. Why is this happening? So um, what I can do is actually go in, uh, I'm actually, this is actually the P5 DOM library. It's a ton of code. We could be here for like the next four hours going through all of it. I happen to know that buried deep in this code is a place where when I call load pixels, this thing happens where it makes a behind the scenes canvas and the canvas is made with the video width and the video height. I want that canvas to be made 320 by 240. Now, a long time ago, I don't know when, <laughs> I can look it up here. I actually posted a GitHub issue. So now I'm on GitHub, I'm in the P5.js repository on GitHub, and there was a particular issue I posted called P5 Media Element Size. And this is, uh, I'm writing a description, Lauren McCarthy and I just talked about blah, 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 blah. And I noticed that there's a problem where the canvas is being set to video width and video height where it actually should get the DOM elements width and height and this somehow like fixes this problem. And in fact, we could say, oh, thanks for catching this, Lauren. This is, there was something tricky with this. Lauren made a commit that changes it. We can actually look at this commit right here. Whoops, sorry, right here. And I can pinpoint, this is the commit. 
It used to be video width, video height, and it used, and that got changed to width and height. So let's go and make that change in the actual code. I'm gonna go here, right? I could just check that, I'm gonna change that to width, change this to width, change this to height, and I'm gonna run my sketch again. We can see what if I call now video.load pixels, okay? I called that, and now I say, what's that number? What's that number? It worked. So that fixed it. That line of code for this particular thing that I'm trying to do should be width and height, not video width and video height, which are still 640 by 480 because they're referring to the original video width and video height. Now, strangely enough, that commit, if I go back to the browser, right, that commit happened on January 15th. What's today's date? March something? Boy, that was March 29th. <laughs> I have no idea what the date is on my watch here. Ah, it's March 29th, Tuesday, March 29th. So I did some investigation and I went through and strangely enough, I found another commit. Look at this. This commit is 26 days ago, early in March, where this got changed back. Also by Lauren McCarthy. Well, why did this happen? So this is closing issue 1274. Here's 1274. Somebody else, uh, Keith O'Hara, posted an issue. They were running into problems using get, blah, blah, blah. So for some reason, that change caused another problem and then it got reverted, forgetting that that would cause some other problem. So we're in this like horrible circular problem. Causing. So what do we do now? I don't know the right answer, but I have spent, I spent at least two hours today, not two hours, I spent a lot of time because looking through, digging through, and trying to pinpoint the exact commits where this has happened. So. I think live on air, live from the School for Poetic Computation. This sounds very grandiose. It's not grandiose. I'm, in, I'm just like a person typing at a computer. But I would like to uh, uh, contribute to this discussion and see if we can figure this out. So I don't know. There's a couple options here. I could reopen this issue. That might make the most sense. This was the original place where I was discussing this, and this is where this exact... I'm showing this exact change needs to happen. So this might make the most sense. I could just comment on this particular commit. There's a place here I could comment on the commit. Uh, I could also like reopen this issue and say, hey, I think this caused a problem with another issue. I don't know where the right place is. And by the way, this is something that happens when you're like trying to file GitHub issues. You always feel like you're doing it wrong and someone's gonna yell at you. <laughs> and that does actually happen because people sometimes aren't, they just aren't thinking and maybe typing tone is lost or sometimes people are just like not nice actually. But I want to say to you that P5.js is a place where anybody in the world can post a GitHub issue and there's no way to do it wrong. <laughs> so post away. And if someone tells you you did it wrong, come and find me because there's no way that was possible. Um, but it's a welcoming place that anyone should be able to try to participate in this open source stuff. So let me, I don't, I'm also not entirely sure the best way to do this. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just try reopening this particular issue. So one, um, so one thing I'm going to do here is type into this uh, box here. <laughs> and you guys can type with me or not type with me. I'm going to think, OK, um, this particular fix was changed back due to issue. So now I need to refer to this particular issue, which is number 1274. 1274, you can see how this commit, which was this one, which has this commit. One thing you can always do is like, see these like crazy numbers that GitHub makes? These are like hash numbers. It's like a unique identifier for that particular change. So I can copy that and I can put that into my comment. This changes, uh, and if I do a single tick, by the way, that makes it like code formatted, changes video dot, oh, uh, video dot width, no, no, this dot width, so hold on, this is, this dot ELT dot width, back to this dot ELT dot video width. We seem to be in an endless <laughs> cycle of changing this code back and forth. Um, can, how do we, how do we best resolve both of these issues? Um, 
So I think, um, um, I am making a video about this exact issue. And when I upload that video, I will post a link here. Um, what else would be helpful in this GitHub issue? So um, just to be clear again, the code that makes this issue, that resolves this issue is, so one thing you can do if you're going to, want to add code into a GitHub issue is you can do three ticks. And then if you want it syntax highlighted, you can write the language there, JavaScript. And I need to grab, this makes, this makes this work. The code that resolves um, the other issue was 1274. 1274 is, and then I can go, it looks like this. Can we, how can we resolve both? What code would resolve both? Okay. So I think now one thing I can do is I can hit preview and you can see here, and I can reread this. <laughs> Make it a little bigger. This particular fix was changed back due to issue 1274 and no longer works. Maybe I should say you can see how this commit, this commit, how the commit, let me, let me fix this. Uh, this particular fix was reverted and the pixels array length is, does not match the specified size anymore. You can see how the commit, you can see how the commit, this changes this.elt.width back to this.elt.video width. We seem to be in an endless cycle, changes the code back and forth. How do we best resolve both of these issues? I'm making a video about this, this question. I'm making a video about this question. <laughs> and when I upload that video, I'll post a link here. Just to be clear, the code resolves this issue, the code that resolves is this. Which, what code will resolve both? All right, I think that's good enough. <laughs> I'm gonna hit reopen and comment and see, no, I'm afraid, like I'm afraid someone's gonna yell at me, but no, of course, no one's gonna yell at me because for the whole world should be a welcoming place, but sometimes on GitHub, it can feel a little intimidating or confusing. I wanna say again, P5JS is an open community that welcomes everybody, whatever your level or knowledge is, there is no way to post a GitHub issue incorrectly. Um, and so we should just give it a try and somebody will, will tell me if, I, uh, if I've, there's a better way I could have done it or something like that. I'm gonna press this button. <laughs> and this concludes this particular video. I'm just gonna check by the way, cause I have a live chat going. This is a recording and see um, if anybody uh, is, has any comments. Uh, yep, okay, nobody has any comments. So I'm gonna hit stop. And this concludes this video. <laughs> we'll see if this follow up, we'll, we'll follow up in the comments, in the threads, in the description if this issue gets resolved.